But two, they could do it now. They could do it because you got to think about it. They do Game of Thrones, and they do you know other you know, period pieces. That's what I wanted to speak on because you got stuff like Game of Thrones, um, even with the other vampire stuff like True Blood, True Vampire Blood. Diaries, and Origins, and all that. That's some pretty good vampire stuff. Uh-huh. So I feel like if Castlevania can do some light Game of Thrones or like in that gory area or just in that real life area, that'd be pretty tight. But me being an anime fan, that'd be pretty tight anime too, though. So I'm kind of I'm kind of twisted on it. Like, should it be anime or should it be something like real life? You feel what I'm saying? Right, I dig that, man. I mean, I think um, I think they should break it and make it like um, this would be a dope concept, man. Had the people, um, you know, going through the little parts, have it, you know, have a real, uh, real, real life feel to it. But then when they get in situations, they switch it over and put them in the video game. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that'd be that'd be pretty. That'd be, that'd be uh, something different. Oh, so yeah, that'd be that'd very be different. have to make a connection back to the game and don't yeah, bring would. people to the game to say, "Shoot, I want to play the game now." You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I'm yeah. the old ones. Put them in the situation. You know, it's, you know, make it give them a give them a high res look. And uh, those situations, you know, they have to play in, like they're in the game. You know, yeah. something fun. To get the monopoly, no, not so serious. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I, I think if you look at what they Gendy did with Samurai Jack and people like that, like as you look at Samurai Jack is coming back and it's coming back to to, to finish this. And that, man, that but the, have you seen how dark they went with it coming back? He's trapped. He's been trapped there that long. He hasn't aged. He's no, I, like, I, I, it's like, like you know, it's gonna be uh, back to that same Gendy's animation. Okay. And it's like, and you know, and it's 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 got a darker overtone. It feels darker, and the pacing is such that he's been trapped there. He's fighting his way forward, like regardless. And they're like we were talking about it the other day, me and some other friends that you know he saw a vision one time when a portal master, like that was the only character that really ever defeated him, and he could have killed Jack. And he pretty much just told Jack, "No, you're you know, you, you, there's more living for you to have, Jack. You know, uh, uh, Jack." And you saw a thing with him just sitting on the throne, like Samurai Jack sitting on the throne, premonition. With a long beard and all this up, well, he's got that beard now, and he's actually like he had aged and he was sitting on the throne amongst his people. So that's the type of stuff I think they could the storytelling they can do with Castlevania. Because with Aku, the shape shifting master of evil, you got like Dracula being the, one of the uh, primeval, premier, uh, primeval villains of all times. You know, you could easily tie that in there. It's like, and they can actually do the writing and probably get it done a little bit quicker. I think they could do it live action too, but the problem is, like I said, you really gonna have to take care because it's easy to go down, get hokey. Like we know this from all the superhero movies and stuff. You either gonna be great or you gonna be hokey, and that's gonna depend on how you decide to take the material. And if you go live action with Castlevania, you're gonna have to get into the relationship tie-ins. You're gonna have to get you gonna get into a lot of stuff. Yeah. You're gonna get in a lot of stuff. You just gonna skip, you know. You can have it. They somebody share a kiss somewhere or do something, whatever, and you just you just boom, and I'm off, and I'm off in a chariot, fixing to fight some skeleton guys in a graveyard somewhere. You know what I mean? So, that's what's up, man? So I mean, you know, Castlevania is gonna be big, uh, especially for the people who appreciate Castlevania. So yeah, you know, yeah, I think that's gonna be big, man. I've been playing it for a minute, man. It's pretty fun. Though. I mean, it's the old one. This is the one that came out in. Uh, uh, on the uh, NES, N- 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 yeah, so it's, it's old a, one, classic, old back one. Yeah, man, it's a good game, man. So, so I remember uh, playing it when I was little. So y'all, y'all pretty pumped for the Castlevania on Netflix, man. And um, any last words on Castlevania before we head out this time? Yeah, Castlevania just need to make make it make it fun. Yeah, <laughs> make it, yeah, don't 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 be so serious, man. Yeah. Now one one quick question: Would you like to see Castlevania on PS4 and Xbox One? Yes. How about you? I'm I'm fine with it because I Give like I play them. Yeah. Oh, please. Some, 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 no some, guns. Yeah, and some, uh, some, some yeah. bow and arrows with some garlic in it. Oh, he's got that. Yeah, maybe he's got fun. he's got those. But now you know, in, in, the, in the, the other universes, they made Dracula a more of a primary part, and they made like, you know, they had one where it was Alcred, which is like basically Dracula backwards, and then there was another one where there was a shapeshifter. Like, well, there was someone else that was from the, that family, and he did, like, um, Demon Mancy. Like, it should be shame like you know, so. Uh, whatever you call yeah, it. Not demons. Necromancy, but, you know, he could forge good demons. Oh, and one of the games. Yourself. And that's one of my favorite ones. Shame so. yourself, them demons. <laughs> 
Hey, hey well, man, we're pretty pumped for the Castlevania, man. Um, this boy, Mastermind, man, and we are out here, man. RGTV again with LEG, another joint show. Y'all, uh, y'all want to introduce yourself out of this thing, man, before we close this 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 segment. And shout out, it's your boy Del Sosa. I ain't giving no more shout outs in 2017, man. Half the people I be shouting out, they don't even deserve it, man. That's, That's what I'm talking about. I love That's me. your boy. That's right. Damn, like, I'm team me. <laughs> I'm but, uh, team me. And it's your boy Fred Freeze. Boy Liddell Sauce. Shout out to Castlevania, though, man. <laughs> it's a fun game, man. It's that, it's that old one, man. Hit him with the music one time. We out. that was used when I was uh, hanging around my black brother in the other day. It's barbecue etiquette. Well, barbecue hand etiquette is something that I did not know. I thought when you were invited, you just show up. Well, this in the black community is very different. You must come with gift or loathing, something that has been asked for you to bring. Simple manifest, don't come empty-handed, because empty-handedness will get you shade. Now, that's a new word I've learned as well, Masterman. Shade. I did not understand. I thought it was hanging under a tree when it's hot outside. But shade means sincere hate and distinguish against you. Hardred, Frederick. Hardred. Yes, it is. Yes. But until next time, that's the word of the week and the day and the month. Barbecue etiquette. My God, I just didn't understand that. Barbecue etiquette. That's crazy.